I'm Brother Bill Rennick, pastor of Lemoyne Boulevard Baptist Church in Biloxi. Since the storm, we have been rebuilding homes and in the process trying to help people rebuild their lives. Everyone was totally depressed, discouraged, didn't know where to turn. And so we started to try to minister to those needs. You know, we started to ask, what, what are your plans? What are you gonna, I, I don't have a plan, I don't know. I'm paying a mortgage on a house that's not there. I'm living in a trailer that they say I can only live in for a limited amount of time. We don't have a plan. Just the last little piece of land here that's in my family, it goes back to the 1800s. Katrina took everything in here. It was unbelievable, the sights. I'm, you just can't imagine how, how bad it was. You have to remember when we started this, we had never even helped in a major disaster, much less been in charge of one. And so people from Smoke Rise came down. They literally organized us and said, okay, this is what we, we can do for you, you know, and, and they kind of helped us along. And we had people in the community tell us that they would get so excited to see that smoke rise bus pull into our parking lot and we got to go out and we would watch everybody unload off that bus and you just knew that a lot of work was going to get accomplished that week and it was a good feeling. Just to see the devastation, I, I was just amazed. Um, and that really affected me. Uh, and the bridge that went from Gulfport across to Biloxi and it was, you know, you see it in the news when it's just stacked up like Tinker Toys. But when you see it in real life, it's, <laughs> It was just amazing. There's a lot of people in need down there. They, they were just without. I mean, they, their homes got washed away and, and a lot of them didn't have any other means of, uh, to pay for, to rebuild. And I felt, what can I do with my limited skills to help these people in this area? But in working there and serving there and meeting the people that we were helping, I saw that, that when you allow yourself to be God's tool, He can do multiple things through you. Jim and Mr. Allen and the church group just seem to give our life back to us. Shortly, we're going to be in a home. That's going to be a wonderful thing to have a, a roof over your head you can call your own. And I've always said that it seems like God had to knock the walls out of our church so we could look outside and see the people and to begin to serve out there where we should have been serving all the time. It has prompted more uh, mission outreach by our church. We've taken more trips than we ever did before. We've uh, gone to, to Texas when they, they had a storm there. We went to Atlanta and helped when the flood came to Atlanta. And we've had mission teams who have accomplished things away from Biloxi that we, we just didn't have before the storm. We, we did not have a lot of mission trips like that prior to the storm, but we have seen how much it means, and so we will continue to do that. We'll continue to reach out to other people too.